Going east, you cross Galilee. The plots of land sometimes take on surprising forms, like the star-shaped layout which originally was to make protecting the village easier. The fertile lands of Galilee are situated in a strategic area which is much fought over. In the distance are the Golan Heights, a territory occupied by Israel since 1967. Before 1967, the border between Israel and Syria ran alongside this river. Today, the demarcation line is to be found about 20 kilometers further east. The Syrian positions have been abandoned since the Six-Day War. In 1967, fierce battles were waged on the Golan Heights. Nearby is the Syrian village of Kunitra. This very sensitive region has been placed under United Nations surveillance. The altitude, the cool wind and the basalt soil favor the growth of vines on the Golan Heights and have done for a very long time, according to Shalom Alonzon. Look, on all these stones, we have most of the grape clusters and vine branches. And that can show us that we are not the first in the branch. Our forefathers were in the same business. We did follow their tradition. For the wine to be kosher, the workers on that part of the production line where the bottles are still open have to be Orthodox Jews. Another restriction is that the grapes can't be picked in the first three years that the vine produces fruit. We have the year, what's called the year of uh, the sabbatical year, uh, every seven, seventh year, when uh, we, we, we are forbidden to plant vineyards. To make kosher wine, the wine has to be handled, produced and handled openly by, uh, by Jews that are Sabbat observants. Israeli wines are beginning to be recognized on the international market, mainly because of the diversity of the grape varieties used. There are an amazing number of biblical sites in Galilee. Lake Tiberias, or the Sea of Galilee, is an important place for Christians, as several episodes in the life of Christ took place here, like the miracle of the draught of fish. Christ preached in the synagogue in Cafarnaum. The word has become synonymous with disorder because of the bustling commercial activity of this ancient town. Another Galilean location stands out in Christian culture, Nazareth. This is the town where Christ spent his youth. Today, it's the biggest Arab town in Israel. According to the Gospel, it was here that Mary, the mother of Christ, had her destiny revealed to her. The Basilica of the Annunciation was built to commemorate the event. Here, Mass takes on a deeper significance. It was on the summit of Mount Tabor that the transfiguration took place. As the apostles looked on, Christ's appearance changed to reveal his divine nature. Further south, the ancient town of Beit She'an is one of the great archaeological centers in Israel. The excavations have uncovered the existence of 20 different settlements, each one built over another throughout the course of history. 
In Roman times, the town was distinguished by the large size of its theatre. The town possessed all modern comforts, not only latrines, but also underfloor heating. The bathroom is raised to allow the heat to circulate underneath. In the 8th century, the town was devastated by a terrible earthquake. Almost everything standing today is due to the work of restoration. <laughs> 